Hi. In this video, we're going to use eye machining to rough, breast rough, and finish a geometry. So we'll create a new 2D eye machining operation. We're going to define our geometry. We're going to machine this pocket at the bottom. We'll pick our level and we'll name our geometry. We'll go select our tool. The first tool we're going to use is a quarter inch end mill. And we're going to use level 5 in our eye machining wizard. We'll take a look at the tool path. Here we can see it roughed out. Take a look at it in Solid Verify. If we look at our finished model, we can see that we have material in all the corners and also on the wall. So if we want to rest rough this operation first before we go to finishing, all we do is click Save and Copy. We switch our technology to rest. We go grab our smaller tool. We're going to stick with the same level 5 in our wizard and we calculate. iMachining is smart enough to automatically use the last operation as its rest material. If we move to our solid verify and slow it down, we can see it now rest roughed the entire area. Now if we slow this down to a very slow time, we can see what's actually happening. The first thing that's happening is it's taking away in one pass the leftover material on the wall. As we speed it up, once it finishes with that, it will then move to its corners, taking away all the material in the corners. If we look at this in the host CAD, as always with an iMachine toolpath, no retracts. Tool stays down, not getting any unnecessary air cuts. Now we want to go to finishing. So we save and copy that operation again. We click finishing. We go to our 1 8 end mill for finishing. We'll stick with our level 5 again and we'll calculate. Now finishing is going to do something different than rest roughing. It is going to be based on the rest roughing operation, but what it's going to do first is it's going to clean out all of the areas that are bigger than the wall offset. So what we're doing is we want to be able to take one final pass around the contour at the programmed wall offset. So if we go to a top view and look at this, we can see all the corners are being removed first. We'll go back to our isometric, slow it down. We see all the corners are being removed in preparation for a final finish pass. And then we get our finest, final finish pass at the program step over or wall offset. If we simulate all three of these together, we'll take a look and see what we get. So we have our roughing toolpath, which is clearing out the bulk of the material. We have rest roughing after this, which is taking a smaller tool and progressively shaving away all of the material, where most of it is left over in the corners in this, in this scenario. And then after the rest roughing is done, we're going to move to our proprietary finishing technology. In our finishing technology, we automatically clean out all the corners and then move to one final pass around the wall. Now a lot of customers go directly from roughing to finishing. So what would happen if we wanted to do that? So what we'll do is we'll suppress this rest roughing operation. We'll drag it to the bottom and we'll go to the finishing. 
what we're going to do now is tell it to work off of the roughing toolpath. In this instance, we can see that SolidCam is warning us and telling us that the previous wall offset cannot be greater than the maximum step over. So to do this, we're going to go to our roughing operation. We see that we're leaving 10 thousandths on the wall. Naturally, we are not going to take away the full 10 thousandths in one pass with a 1 8 end mill. So we're going to lower this down to 3 thousandths, calculate our tool path. We're going to move back to our finishing pick the rough pocket. Now when we calculate, we do not get any errors. Because now we're, now we're roughing to the good wall offset that the finishing tool can take in one pass. Now if we go to our simulation and simulate both of these, we can see here's the roughing tool path, same as it was before, but now roughing to three thousandths. And then after that, the finishing is going to come in to all the corners, finish all the corners to prep the final finish pass to be the step over that we defined. And that's how simple it is to go from roughing, rest roughing to finishing, or you can go directly from roughing to finishing if you like.